Let's uh, turn it down on that one, I think. What's up guys, Zeverhype here, and today we are playing some Car Trader Simulator. Now this game isn't actually out yet, this is just the demo, but we'll jump in and see what this is all about. Um, we'll do the tutorial first, just so we know what we're doing. This looks like uh, a somewhat interesting game. You have to turn and flip cars, you have to acquire them um, by any means necessary, legal or not. And yeah, so that's all there is to it. You need to obviously try and turn a profit, you are running a business. So that's the main thing within this game. Now the cars come in different conditions, they can be in pristine condition or relatively broken down and you can choose to repair them or try and sell them as is while trying to keep the customer in the dark about the actual condition of the car. It's so being chased by the police. Right, let's head back to whatever this is. Right, this guy doesn't look like he's happy that we're here. Scrapyard owner really isn't happy. Okay, it's two hours later. Right, our uncle isn't happy either. Okay, so there's a car up for sale. Right, so we need a bid on it. Fourteen thousand, by the looks of it, and we've been out there. We can't bid any more on that. We haven't got enough money. Yeah, someone overbid us. Maybe outbid, but anyway. Okay, so what is something else? Okay, so we'll take we're buying a garage. Well, you obviously need some tools. Let's give him them. But, uh, our uncle's obviously bought a car, so let's go and send our driver to pick that up. That's not even a driver, it's just a friend. Okay, so then once a garage, we obviously can do some work on it and hopefully um, sell it, sell it for a profit. I mean, it will be a profit because we haven't actually spend anything on it. Okay, so now we need to tell them to go and pick up some scrap. So it almost looks like this is the police crossed with like a car mechanic simulator style game. But I don't think you're actually doing any of the repairs yourself, obviously you just hire people and they they do the repairs to the car and you just essentially sell them. But you have to source them though. Okay, so let's send him back to the garage with the scrap. And hopefully you can repair the car fully. Hope it's not too damaged. Alright. So we click there. So we need to assign a mechanic. Let's get him on there. Okay, so there's quite a bit actually need to do into the car. Looks like pretty much everything is damaged. Oh, there's quite a lot that's not. But let's um, get him on that. Oh, well, he works fast. Okay, so you can kind of zoom in the car. It actually is a picture of a real car. But then it's just been kind of painted over to make it look a little bit more computer generated, I suppose. But that is. A genuine like scrapyard by the looks of it. Alright, the little birds told me one woman loves red cars. That's all she cares about, so let's just pay the one we have. Alright. So that costs 200 to pay the thing. Okay, it's 
Don't forget to employ, reward your employees for their work. Okay, let's level him up. Remember to advertise your cats. Alright, so we double click that. We can create an ad for it. Oh. We've already got a call. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's looking to buy this again. Alright, so send a photo. So I think just, yep. Yeah. There we go, so we're sending that photo across. Is the real light looking good? I mean, we have no reason to lie to him because the car has been fully repaired. Okay, front left door damaged. Nope. Again, everything's been fully repaired and it's actually up to scratch. Uh, let's just see what he thinks of the actual asking price. Alright, can't afford that. Come back. What? Right, I'll go down to 29. See what he thinks. Really? I suppose we haven't actually paid anything for the car. The repairs cost us a bit, but we've made a good little profit there. Very cheap. Total lawfulness. Just keep in mind your actions have consequences. Nice. Right, perfectly lawful there. Shooting inside a damaged car, but your reputation matters. Cheating and dealing with wrong people will get you in trouble. Okay, so add, advertise the store too. Just like you did with the cars. So we can do a little TV ad. Yeah, let's uh, do that. Let's take out the wall. We've got loads of money. Okay, so apparently we need to take out a $5,000 loan. Payday loan, so obviously very high interest on that one. So this is essentially just all of the information that you need or you could possibly want. There's kind of a tutorial in there as well. Okay, I'm thinking you're ready, ready. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty good at spending money, you know. That's why I'm going to the docks. Okay, so there's insurance, that's one to three cars. So you can buy essentially a ship container. that. We had basically the right amount of money for that, so now we've got nothing left. Right, so we need to open this now. Do the docks and swim your actions, right? Fingers crossed. Let's open this up. Right, so Kai Sol. I love how they've just kind of swapped a few letters around for the car names. Send your driver to pick it up, right? Let's uh, send him out there. So what's interesting as well is when the drivers are on the main roads, they actually drive quicker. Right there, see so sped up. So on the smaller roads they go slower and on the highways and like the main roads they go a bit quicker. So that's always worth bearing in mind, particularly if you're getting chased by the police, I think. Hopefully we can make a good amount of money on this. So what did it cost us? 33000 That's not great. For a Kia. Or a Kai, sorry. Okay. Let's just move that car over. No way to boost finances to sell car to collectors. Oh, that's actually the car we have, so we can sell it straight to it. Take a massive loss on it though. I suppose the thing with um, the shipping containers is you could potentially get three cars in there for 33,000, but that is a risk that you take. With the other one for 30,000, it looks like you could get nothing, which is huge. It's just a huge loss. Yeah, I don't think we can haggle on him. So we've lost 20k on that. I'm over 20k. Let's hire a thief. I thought this was all legit. Yeah, let's hire this guy. 
bring in the employees by clicking on the name. Let's just keep it as is for now. Using thieves, you can send them on patrol. Yeah. Save a lot of time because you don't have to manage them at all times. Try it now. Okay. So shift and right click. Why is it not going for this one? No, that's not letting me do anything now. Let's find it out and make some profits. Not entirely legal here, not every month is full of cash, right? I thought you were supposed to keep, keep me on the straight and narrow, Uncle. Why are the uncles always dodgy in these games? Oh, we've actually found something. A Nissan Rogue. That's quick now. The thief has to break in to bring to our garage. Right, let's send him there, see if he can break into this successfully. Right, let's bring that back. And he's being caught instantly. Employee one will go to prison, you'll lose one lawfulness. That's fine, we were pretty lawful anyway. So, they bought new BMWs, so they're faster than our thief. Brilliant. Oh no, not again, they caught your thief. Sounds like you've been doing this before, Uncle. Now you have some time to pay his bail, be careful you run out of time and your thief will be sentenced. Right, so you essentially lose the, um, the employee if they get sentenced. Let's send him back to the headquarters though. <laughs> Your employee's injured and is in the hospital now. This isn't going well. It's literally one thing after another so far. But it looks like a pretty deep game. Okay, so that's the tutorial. Make you start a campaign or play sandbox mode. Alright, so we've jumped straight into the campaign here. Just a few months ago, my life was totally normal. Although, no, it was never normal. Oh, this is going to give us a sad backstory. Yep, sure enough. If you're a teenager taking out a grown man, good effort. Uh, yeah, it's always a sad backstory to go in games like this. This old guy. I was thinking it was this guy. I have to find my way in life. So by stealing and selling cars. Good idea. Ah, so the tutorial actually is kind of in the storyline. It's not just a separate piece. That's a really good way of putting it in. For a game like this anyway, it's not a separate um, aspect. Should wait some time. No one in prison. Got no cars in the garage. Yeah, let's just bid on this. Anyone gonna go over that? We might have won our first car. We have. Car's ready for pickup. Yeah, someone's calling, I should answer it. Parlor. Right, so potential. Unless she wants to sell. Okay, that doesn't seem uh, dodgy at all. Right, let's go and s I'll send myself to go and pick the car up. Driver and uh, um, what you call him first. 
lost anyway, a mechanic. So no, I, I actually can't pick the car up. Um, where's the mechanic? Let's drop that. Send him to go and get that car. Call that the car. Okay, so meet Paula. Hmm. This seems very, very suspicious. Question. Purely phrased, but good question. Hmm. Let's go with that one. Sleazy, but probably has a good price. Seems to have actually worked. Oh, okay, so she was joy riding it. I knew that was too good to be true. Yeah, and I'm better off without it as well. I mean, 7k though, that's pretty good. Uh, turn her down on that one, I think. I feel like she's going to keep popping up. Alright, so we've already got our driver going to pick up one car. Can I go and get this other one? Doesn't look like it. Let's just head back to the to the let's head back to the HQ. So is, there is a quest line, which is interesting. Oh, he's taking his time. Right, he's collecting the car. So what am I supposed to do with that? Yeah, it's probably a good idea, to be honest, to keep it hidden. Okay, so... Let's drop that in there. Let's drop the driver. So we've got the garage. Um, why do I choose a mechanic? I did hire a mechanic, yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know why. He's not at the right location. Uh -oh. Why is this hammering my reputation? Alright, so he's unloading that now. Let's get her on this. Really? Okay, so let's repair all. It's very cheap, so we can do that nicely. Because it was quite cheap actually, so we can make good money on this. Let's get him to take that over there. She's 
not the quickest, but it's getting done, so that's something. That's being fully repaired. Sedan, what is what is this car that we've got? Is it a sedan? Yeah, it is. So we can actually try and sell that. Mm-hmm. Sedan, of course. I'll uh, get that over to you. What do you think? Oh, that's going for a good amount. No, no scratches. Yeah, everything's working correctly. Fully repaired the car. How much does this cost? For you. Two. How about that? 71? Alright. Made money on it. Not much, but we made a bit. Alright guys, and with that, I think we'll wrap this episode up here. Let me know what you think of this game. As I say, it's quite deep, um, and there's a lot going on. But it is a fun game, and it's a good man cross between the management and... Um, kind of simulator style so yeah if you've enjoyed this one hit that like button and feel free to subscribe as well and hit that notification bell and i will see you on the next one bye